The 2024 F1 season is drawing closer and closer and this week we were surprised with the reveal of the 2024 livery for the McLaren car and this livery reveal helped to begin the hype train for the season and that got me thinking, there is a lot to be excited about this year and so today I'm going to be talking about 5 reasons why you should be excited about Formula 1 in 2024. If you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button and subscribe for more F1 content. Now let's get to the video. Number one, the competition at the front is likely to be heating up. In 2023, let's be honest, the competition at the front was between Max Verstappen and his race engineer GP, as GP spent the most of the time telling Verstappen off for going too quickly and putting the car under unnecessary stress. With another year of these regulations, we should expect to see the likes of McLaren, Ferrari and Mercedes start to claw back some of that performance advantage that Red Bull have enjoyed. We already got to see that towards the back end of 2023 as McLaren and Ferrari finally started to make some real gains on Red Bull. Now, I know Red Bull stopped development of the car around the Singapore Grand Prix, but so too did McLaren and Ferrari's last major upgrade was only a couple of races after this one. I expect Red Bull will make a good leap forward in terms of performance, but I also anticipate that McLaren and Ferrari will also make giant leaps forward as they are all beginning to understand this set of rules better and better. With this closing up, we can expect that Verstappen might have to actually worry about more than just managing his pace this year, as he may have to fend off from the likes of Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Oscar Piastri, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. The only question for these drivers is how consistently can they be in the fight for the win? The potential of 6 or 7 different drivers to realistically be in a position to win a Grand Prix this year should give fans hope that the season will be an electric one, even if Max Verstappen is overall far more consistent and therefore still wins the Drivers Championship. Number 2, there are more races than ever. If you always wanted to see more F1 action and have more opportunities to watch your favourite F1 drivers compete, then you will be happy to know that the 2024 F1 season will feature the most races ever, with 24 Grand Prix and 6 sprint races, meaning that in total the fans will be treated to 30 races over the course of the 2024 season. In 2023 there was 22 Grand Prix with 6 sprints. The two races taking place in 2024 will be the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix at Imola. The race was absent in 2023 due to flooding that occurred in the Emilia Romagna region, which of course led to the race getting cancelled and it never even got underway. Also in 2024, we will see the return of the Chinese Grand Prix at Shanghai. It has been a long time since the last Chinese Grand Prix as it has been cancelled every single year since 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. The last time F1 raced in Shanghai, Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes were still the dominant force. Max Verstappen had only won a handful of races and he had never won a championship. The sport has changed a lot since the last race in China and it will be very interesting to see how these modern cars can handle the Shanghai circuit. To make up for us not racing in China for such a long time, the Chinese Grand Prix will also be a sprint race weekend. I just want to say that if you are enjoying the video so far, then I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe for more F1 content. I'm on my way to 5k subs and would really appreciate it if you help me get there. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 3, it is likely that we will see a driver change during the season. Going into 2024, we are in a weird situation where no drivers have swapped teams. Usually, between seasons, we see at least one driver change teams, but that is not the case this year. Because of this though, I believe we are likely to see some drivers change teams during the season. There are a number of drivers already under pressure to perform, and with another year with everyone in the same car, then no one has any excuses not to perform. I already mentioned in my preview and predictions video that I believe Sergio Perez is under pressure to perform and one of my predictions is that he will lose his seat before the end of the 2024 season. Other drivers under pressure to perform in my opinion include Logan Sargent in the Williams as he was very clearly outclassed by his teammate Alex Albon and also Joe Guan Yu in the stake F1 team. The Chinese driver is in his third season now 
and he has to perform, especially as Audi's presence continues to grow, then Joe will have to show more that he belongs in F1, especially as there are rookies waiting in the wings to take his spot, such as current academy driver Teo Porsche. With these three drivers alone being under pressure, then I will be very surprised if the lineup that starts the 2024 season is the same as the lineup that ends the 2024 season. Number four, the 2024 silly season. In a similar vein to the lineup that ends this season, unlikely being the same one that will start the season, F1's silly season is shaping up to potentially be one of the craziest in years, with multiple teams building up to be in a position to fight at the front and the growing presence of Audi to boost the current lower midfield team potentially up the grid, this year's silly season has the potential to be one of the best ever. The current list of drivers out of contract at the end of 2024 are the following. Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Lance Stroll, Pierre Gasly, Esteban Ocon, Joe Guan Yu, Daniel Ricciardo, Yuki Tsunoda, Alex Albon, Logan Sargent, Kevin Magnussen, and Nico Hulkenberg. That is a lot of drivers out of contract at the end of the season, and a lot of young talent is also waiting to potentially get the opportunity to find themselves in a Formula 1 seat. We could quite possibly see one of the most drastic changes in the history of the sport for 2025. I personally find it very telling that there is only two teams with drivers locked in beyond this current season. McLaren have both Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris locked in, and Mercedes have both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell locked in until the end of the current rule set. Number 5, the prospect for a new Grand Prix winner is high. Going into 2024, the prospects are looking good that we will see a brand new winner in the sport. The last time that we saw a new Grand Prix winner was George Russell in 2022 at the Brazilian Grand Prix. But with the field getting tighter and tighter, then the opportunity rises that we will see a new race winner. As I mentioned also back in my preview and predictions video, the most likely candidates for being a new Grand Prix winner will be both of the McLaren drivers, as Lando Norris is now entering his fifth season in F1, and Oscar Piastri is entering his second season. The McLaren team is now on the verge of being Grand Prix winners once again. Their car has great pace, and they are feeling like the team of old, and they're feeling like the team that is most likely to challenge Red Bull. The improvements that they have made from the start of 2023 was meteoric, and to go alongside this, Lando Norris as a driver is really coming into his own now, and it just feels like he is within reach now of his first Grand Prix win. For his teammate Oscar Piastri, it is his second season in the sport now, and he has a full year's worth of experience that he can use to continue to hone his craft. He has excellent speed, especially when it comes to qualifying, but now with the additional year under his belt, it will be interesting to see if he can improve on that crucial race pace, which is sometimes what is lacking. If he can improve in this area, then I think it is very much a possibility that we can see him challenge Lando more consistently in the races, and Piastri could very well be on his way to win one Grand Prix before Lando Norris does. Keep in mind, of course, Oscar Piastri won the sprint race in Qatar. Lando Norris is still yet to win a sprint race, so it will be interesting to see if Piastri could potentially be the one to win the race before his teammate Lando Norris does. So, those are five reasons for me to be excited about F1 in 2024. Are there any other reasons to be excited? Let me know what you think down below in the comments and why are you excited to see F1 in 2024? Let me know down below and as always comment, leave a like and subscribe for more F1 content. Thank you all so much for watching.